Hey guys, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO, and I came across your website on house while searching for restoration companies in your area. And um, when I found your website, I thought you guys might be interested um, in getting more leads organically. And so I put together this video of a few tips that you guys can apply apply right away so that you guys can start getting better organic leads. So here we are on your website. Looks like you have a bunch of pages, um, pages for each of your services, which is good. Um, hopefully you have a page for each of your services. Um, and let's see, it looks like you guys are serving um, several different areas. So hopefully you guys have built a separate page for each of the communities that you're servicing so that you can go after the keywords in each of those areas and actually be found for those services. Um, let's see, looks like you got some content. So this is good. Um, Looks like there's an attempt to try and go after some keywords, um, but there's not much to go with them. Um, and there's not much repetition to actually get indexed for the right keywords. Um, hopefully each of these specific services has their own page and their own content and keywords. So Google does not rank your website based on appearance. They have um, robots called crawlers that go and index every single one of these pages looking for content and keywords to be able to index you for those keywords and rank you so that they can put customers in front of you that are searching for your services in your service areas. Um, Google wants to see a minimum of about 1,000 to 1,500 words on your homepage. Um, which breaks down to about 150 words for every keyword you're trying to target. So you really want to build your content around not just your services, but the keywords in your service areas that you're trying to rank for. Those are your buyer intent location based keywords that people are actively searching for, um, for your services. They probably won't know the name of your company but they know that their basement's flooded and they need help. And so that's what they're going to be searching for. Um, when we look at one of your number one competitors, um, this is just proof that Google does not rank based on appearance. This website is 20 years old. Um, it is terrible, but they do have a ton of content. They are They have a ton of keywords that they're going after. Um, they have a bunch of separate pages for each of their services and interlinking between their pages, which is important. Um, they also have multiple service areas and so they have additional pages for each of their service areas. So they're able to rank in each of these areas and be found when those emergencies happen. So in order to beat these guys, you have to have more content. You have to have those additional service area pages um, and you need to um, optimize your content for your keywords. Now, this is a program called AREFS that helps us to analyze how your website is performing. And as you can see, you have a 1.4 rating out of 100 in Google's trust flow for your entire website. And that's 100% because of your referring domains and backlinks. You have 1,800 backlinks, but a low score of 1.4, which says that majority of these backlinks are of poor quality. They are either spam, no follows, or completely unrelated to your industry. Um, so not all backlinks are created equal. Um, so you need to make sure you have highly authoritative backlinks and that you have more of those than your top competitors. Um, because you don't have a whole lot of content, 
you only have 41 um, keywords being indexed and you're only seeing two people on average to your website a month. Now, 70% of your leads come from your website. So it's really important to optimize your website um, and have your SEO working for you. Um, having those backlinks, not just go to your home page like you have now, but to be going to those back service pages and service areas so that you can actually rank those pages and be found for those services. Um, looking at your competition, they only have a rating of a nine with 242 backlinks. So you definitely need more backlinks and better quality backlinks um, because they have a lot more content and more pages. They're being indexed for over 113 keywords and they're seeing 28 people on average to their website. So they don't have any SEO working for them really. Um, they, they're they not um, applying those backlinks to those keywords. So they're not getting the traffic they should be. Um, you guys are both missing out on considerable traffic. You got hundreds and thousands of volume out there that you're missing out on. Now what a backlink is, it's when one website links to your website and then drives traffic to your website. I apologize, I had the wrong page so showing. So um, when one website links to your website and then drives traffic to your website, Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. The more relevant this website is to your services, the more authority it's going to give you and the more power. And if they are do follows instead of no follows like this one, they will actually share the power of those high ranking sites and help you to boost faster up into the first page of Google. And then lastly, these need to be tied to not just your brand name or your website, but these backlinks need to be tied to the keywords you're wanting to rank for. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is the Google Maps section or the Google My Business page. Um, if you don't have one, you need to have one and you need to get it well optimized um, because 30% of people come directly to the maps and they don't go any further. So it's important um, to be in the top three. Otherwise, you're handing those leads to your competitors. Um, and leaving money on the table. So in order to get in the top three, there's a number of factors, but the most important is citations, which is the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a variety of places like Yelp, Facebook, Instagram, Yellow Pages, Dex, etc. So you need a lot more of those citations than your top competitors. And when you follow all of these tips that I've provided you today, your website can become number one across Google for your keywords at, for services and service areas. Now we are SEO pros. Um, that's what we do. So if you guys do need help getting some of this stuff done and you don't want to have to worry about it and you want to see those results, go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.